ready, mommy, your rest water. Yeah, yeah. Walk on, mommy, your rest water. Yeah, yeah. Swing this, mommy, your rest water. Yeah, yeah. I didn't train, mommy, your rest water. Yeah, yeah. This is a young Nancy Chew. Charlie, if you have a bad cry, huh? yeah, that, that's a bad view, man. That's <laughs> uh, a bad view. What I need is a bad view. Bonnie Balani is a bad view. Any chum, any cat. Oh, well, you know, 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 yeah, school fan. Bon Charlie, Kai Kukwake, you be my profession, you know. She in she school, no me and your banner. And when she school 1955. And we didn't buy she on me. Was she London, Jamestown. Yeah, there's a band there called the Accra All Stars Band. I see. Uh, band leader, near Ikushi, Mr. Hammond. Mm -hmm. He was a bad tenor player, you know. Oh, I, mean, I saw that the band is in the house, so, you know, I used to go around them, you know, they send me, you know, and, and all, all came together that they want me to be their uh, uh, roadie, like we say, a gongadin. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I started packing their instruments, you know. And we have a, a trumpeter. Uh, I've forgotten the, the full name, but we call it ST. He's a banker, he works at the bank. And each time we're going to play, uh, excuse me, he's a little bit drunk, you know. <laughs> and, and they have to, you know, manage him to, and so the band leader asked me if I want to learn how to play the instrument. I said, well, I like bass, the standing bass, the hunchback, you know. <laughs> Uh, I started playing the, the band leader said, so, no, I want you to learn how to play trumpet so that when SC is not there, you can take, you know. Well, I started playing, the, learning the trumpet. I, I left school before I started learning trumpet. I see. Yeah, about, about, I was about 16 or 17 years old. Well, I'm on to, who taught yeah. you? Oh, Mr. Uh, there's a guy in the house. In fact, he passed away while I was away in the, in the States, you know. Uh, called Saki Kwakupon. He wrote the uh, the fingering do re mi fa so fingering with a, a charcoal on the floor so that I have to copy it on it. And so I started uh, fiddling with the, the keys, you know. There's an old trumpet that he gave me to, you know. And, you know, because I got, I, I, I got interested in it, you know. And so, uh, in fact, he started me before Mr. Hammond when it started me to, you know, play, learn the trumpet. Okay, so on, at that time, uh, what was the scene like? The All-Stars band, where were they oh, playing? Oh, man, they, they were, they were, they, 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 there was a, a group by that time in the 50s, uh, mid-50s to early 60s, that called actually uh, Achille, Akaba, you know, the women group. And so, Mostly the musicians. Uh, no, they are just market women uh -huh. who have an organization. So every Sunday, they want the uh, musical group to come and play for them, just to dance and you know, you know. So uh, uh, the all stars they got some of the uh, their gigs, and so we used to go and play for them, you know. And I remember uh, there's a bar at uh, this place, uh, uh, you know, for GCR. Uh, Kuntown. 
No, I don't know who oh, it is. Oh, uh, Jamestown, Kuntown. Okay. You, you know Kuntown? No. You don't know Kuntown? No. Oh. Uh, as we were, we were saying, there's a club there called uh, King's Bar. Uh -huh. And so we used to play there too, you know. Yeah. But then I was still a, 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 a Gongadin, you know. Uh -huh. yeah, and I was learning the trumpet. And there was a song that they call uh, 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 Constable Joe. Yeah, 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 yeah. Constable Joe, we know that. And every band was playing this song, except the band that I was playing. Why? Because they said they don't know who to sing. But then I've learned this song already, so they, they asked me if I can sing. I said, oh yes, I can sing. And so they played it and I sang. And, and, and everybody like, you know, I, now I want to be a singer or whatever, <laughs> a trumpet. But I love the trumpet, you know. Uh -huh. So as I was learning with uh, Mr. Hammond, with the All Stars man, they are all grown-ups, you know. They, they, don't, they are all grown-ups. You know, I was the only... Uh, child you know inside the van you know so um, uh, a guy who i was uh, i've known uh, banini anthony is a saxophone player and he lives he lives at Ochoen. so he, he called me one day so oh, we got we got a band you know so we want a trumpeter i've i've only learned only one key on the trumpet you know <laughs> i said oh what that was a sun chick uh, Chicadote, uh, uh, you know, the guy who did Susie, Susie, is the girl I love. Yeah, Chicadote, he lives in Osu. Okay. So they had a band, Chickson Valley, that's the band. And they always play at uh, Neymar Halle Cafe, you know. I so, so the guy invited me to come on, you know. And so my first play out, I went with only one key that I know. And we play at uh, Harlem Cafe. That was my first playing out, like uh, playing as a trumpeter, mm -hmm. you know. And so they would call this trumpeter. He, he, he plays with the rhythm masses that time, uh, 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 Prince Watin, to come and play solos because I didn't know how to play solo. I can play the straight melody, but, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, going on, going on, you know. I mean, I became uh, uh, the trumpeter of the band, you know. And then... Uh, it happens that uh, Chikata, Chikata, he lives at Tulu. He has a band that, that guy knows every musician. Any musician that touches Accra, he knows where to find you. So in Christmas time, you form about four to five bands, you know, and then you, uh, you know, everybody gets something to, you know. So I, I started playing with Chikata, and then I left Chikata band to, Joe Kelly, yeah, I was I was playing with uh, Edin Trent, was our singer, but then uh, the Joe the original Joe Kelly band, they've uh, you know left the group, you know, so uh, Max Max uh, Max Max Ama, Ama. Yeah. yeah, it was, but then going to Road Road uh, Government School, mm -hmm. and so he was our drummer, and uh, Fred Lamptey was the trumpeter. But it didn't last long when he left. So now he left me, Joe, and one guy from Adraka Diki, a very nice auto player. He passed away, I, I understand. But how, how do you rate Joe, Joe Kelly? And look, he, Joe Kelly was ahead of every musician in this country, I'll tell you. You know, I mean, because if you hear, this, this guy taught me what, what 12 bars, 32. I mean, he taught me what jazz is, Joe Kelly. I will never forget that guy, you know. So sometimes I used to be very sorry that this guy passed away before I started playing bands like Farmer's Band, New Hulu Band, to see that, oh man, this is the guy that I taught, you know. Yeah, he was way ahead of, I mean, that's uh, 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 Gawori's best friend. When Gawori came, he always, at Joe's house, you know, at the, at Rakade, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so Joe was way ahead of a whole lot of musicians in this country. Yeah. But you see, we didn't know the, the, I mean, jazz is not our thing, you know. And so people don't even dig him that much. But, but jazz, you think jazz is not our thing. But 
some people too will say that jazz is an is came from Africa and went uh, to America. Uh, exactly. Uh, to people who know, yes. but I mean the layman on the street, uh -huh. you know, who have been hearing Chohami, Chohami, the highlight that time, you know. So that time you were playing highlight. And we play play highlight and you know jazz, you know, and uh, when I went to Joe Kelly, we started I started playing jazz because Joe plays jazz, mm -hmm. and it's, it's the only band that plays at. Uh, uh, CV Hotel. That time the harbor is at Jamestown. Uh -huh. You know, so the, those expatriates, they come to they come to uh, uh, CV every Saturday. And when you come in, you got to be in tuxedo. You can't just walk into CV. You know, and we have a uh, uh, this guy uh, 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 Dick Everett. Yeah, uh, uh, Lola Everett. But Thomas's yeah, first wife, yeah, yes. the, the daughter is a singer now, uh -huh, Nanaya, uh -huh, uh -huh, yeah, uh -huh. the, the, the Nanaya's uh, grandfather, uh -huh. he, he was some sharp, sharp guy, and he sings, he's always, I mean, so, I mean, remember, uh, 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 was the first place I ate the thing they call hot dog, <laughs> yes. My first time I ate hot dog. Uh -huh. Hot dog that has been a common thing. Yeah. Uh -huh. That time, it's only sea view. And so I said, man, I will stop playing Joe Kelly's band because of the hot dog, you know. <laughs> you know. Uh, and so, I mean, Joe taught me how to play jazz. I know? see. Yes. He really sat you down and taught you. I mean, when the numbers that we learn at Joe's place is like, uh, 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 foreign tunes, you know, yes. like uh, Let's Fall in Love, yeah, whatever, you know. So he explained how you play 32 bars, 12 bars, 8 bars, you know, and Joe, he taught me before I left, yeah, you know. So I was playing Joe's band when they formed a, 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 a farmer's band, but then I was working at the Army Records in uh, uh, Cantonment, you know. And then they transfer us to Burma camp during the uh, Como crisis, you know. So I was working there. So I just, I mean, I just left. I we put yes, to go for. You, were you playing professionally or? No, but then I was playing uh, amateur. You know, uh -huh. I was playing. You know, I was working and playing part time. Okay. You know, do, with, do you make time for rehearsal? Oh yeah, I make time for rehearsal. Were yeah, you rehearsing regularly? How many times? About three times a week at Joe's house. I you see. Know, uh, from I see about six to eight thirty or nine in the evening. I see. You know, so I get time for that. You know. What was uh, the discipline among musicians at that time? No, you like? can't mess around with discipline, man. You can't mess. I mean, discipline. I mean, you you, uh, you know, Joe, Joe. When you see Joe's bandsmen on the bandstand, everybody is in, in uniform. You know, coat, bow tie, uh, the check coat and the black trousers, black shoes. That's the uniform for Joe. You know. Yeah, so discipline, you can't, you can't, you can't, you can't that time, you know, it's, it's unfortunate nowadays, you see everybody walking on the uh, bandstand with anything, uh, anything that they want, you know. but that time, oh man, it, the discipline was there, you know, uh, 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 but you see, uh, people say, bad things about musicians, you know, that they are drunkards, we smokers, you know, womanizers, you know, yeah, yeah. but, you know, it, it, this is Ghana, but when, when you go to overseas, it's different, day, <laughs> you know, so when I left Jokeri, I went to, uh, you know, uh, farmer's van with uh, Dantaki, he, <laughs> he was, he was our band leader, so I was playing, uh, Farmer's van, and then something happened. You what know, happened? Uh, my my manager said something, and uh, in fact, I challenged the guy, and he didn't like it. So we were on tour in Kumasi, in Ashanti region, because we go to open cocoa sheds. That time, you know, farmers van. We we are for the farmers. We play for the farmers, and you know. I see. Yeah, you know, 
<coughs> and then they, they send somebody to come and bring the band down to Accra because of what I, I, the argument I had with uh, the, What was the argument about? Do you mind? Uh, it, it, it was about some monies that uh, we, we play commercially and he never accounted them for, you know. And he was saying something and I said, no, that's not true. We played it, you know. And uh, because nobody c could, you know, face that guy. But, you know, I mean, I, I don't know what made me, you know. So uh, they called us and uh, uh, Pierre Dankwa was the, uh, the farmers council, the minister of farm, uh, agriculture or something, or something like that, you know. So they called us. And they fired uh, me, uh, the band leader, and mm -hmm. uh, 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 another guy, another guy boy, uh, 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 Auntie. Uh, all these two people have already uh, they passed away, you know. And so they fired. Why, the, why did they fire the others? Uh, uh, yeah, because they said the band leader should. I let. I mean, I let me that I shouldn't be. I mean, like arguing with. Uh, the, the, uh, the manager of the band and you know and so I yeah, mean so they fired not that they supported you uh, not, not that they supported me because the band leader should have let me know that I shouldn't have uh, you know so because of me they fired the, the, uh, the but that was not fair mm, oh I mean I they mean find those two people exactly yeah they just fired me you know and the, and the two people so when they fired me, you know, we went to, uh, that time uh, they, 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 they've already built this cap rice. Okay. And commis cap rice. Yes. And the son, the son is uh, the manager of the place. So mm. there's another band in the, they, they do uh, cabaret shows in the casino. And so they want a band at the top roof, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, rooftop band. So uh, Dantaki, me, and... One drummer called uh, Otto James, he passed away. He was playing with the rest of band, or, you know. So we went and formed uh, the group at the top there, you know. And, and we, we rehearsed for about a month. The, la the day that we are coming out, our drummer, Otto, he was so drunk. <laughs> he, just, uh, he, just, he just sat behind the drums and collapsed straight that we were ready to start. Luckily, Eddie Kwanza and uh, 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 Max Hammer came there to, you know, uh, listen to the band, you know. Yes. So it was Max Hammer who sang in for the whole night. I see. Yes. So after we finished, uh, I son, he called and said, man, don't come back here again. <laughs> <laughs> so, so in two months, I will fire twice, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, so I was home. I know. I, I, I was. I said, man, why did I let my work at uh, Ami Records and facing all these things? So I was sitting. I was home one day and uh, uh, Obuadi. Okay. Yeah, Obuadi came to call me because we were playing farmers band together. You know, okay. Obuadi came to call me that. Apia Dankwa said they should come and call me. Mm -hmm. You know. I said, oh, I'm not going. He said, oh, please, please, you know, poor and proud, you know. Mm -hmm. I, I need mm -hmm. money too. <laughs> yes. But then uh, this guy was our information, uh, 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 BB Bismarck. Okay, yes. okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Yes. So we went to BB and, uh, oh, you know, Osei Tutu. Osei Tutu. He's a trumpeter, very uh, nice trumpeter. He lives at Tema now. Okay. Yeah. So they, they, they re engaged me and hired Osei Tutu to post so that we, he be, become a second trumpeter. I was the lead trumpeter, so Jose became the... So, they, they, I mean, they gave me some money, you know. So I said, oh, man. Uh, microwave, mm. now you fish, you know. And then there, I want you now, what, what? Okay, so, so um, we'll, before we'll, we go on no, further, uh -huh. were they paying you properly during those days? I, I, and what were you spending your money on? I, 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 I really don't know the, the payment that they were giving me, if it's good or not. 
you play and the band leader say, take this. <laughs> you, you can't argue with the band leader, you know. But when I went to farmers band, now I started playing professional. So they gave us salaries there. Okay. Yeah. Uh, in farmers band, we were receiving salaries. Yeah. So as, like I was saying, when I went back to farmers band, after they came to call me, I went back. You know, they increased my pay a little bit too. So I was, you know, but then uh, I was there two months, one afternoon. But then I was, I was still living at Jamestown, my family house there. With uh, I don't know if you know Boapan. You don't know. He's he's in charge of the port now. You know. Uh, uh, people who bring vehicles and all those. Uh, what that was the name? Boemisa. Boemisa. Uh, Boemisa. Mm. Yeah, I was saying it, but then he was attending a rally, which uh, he used to be academy at Jamestown. Okay. But okay. they turned it to, uh, they moved academy to uh, this place, and then uh, the rally went there. So he was, so he was living with me. So we were there, and then my my little brother ran upstairs to tell me, oh. I saw a Huruban, a Huruban uh, van, you know, parked at the front there. I think they, they were looking for you. I said, oh, I'm looking for who, you know. Uh, so I went to the window and I saw Stan Planch and uh, Edin Chen, you know. Edin Chen was holding the trumpet <laughs> and uh, Stan Planch was holding the folio. So they climbed up there. They can see. When, when Edin Chen came, he said, well, I'd reach it. Bow, 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 what it, bow, what it. Now, trumpet for what? I was scared, you know, because that band, the guy that I'm going to replace was n nobody than Samuel Bot, who is the lead trumpet and, and the leader of the band. So when this, I said, man, I, I, I cannot go and play a whole band, you know. That this big band, because we all look that band as the, the best band in the whole Africa, you know. And it, so Stan said, Tomorrow morning, the car will come and pick me to rehearse her. And, and, and boy, me, son, he started packing my thing. I said, boy, are you going to play the trumpet? He said, Papa, let's go, let's go, let's go. We're going to play whole band. You, let's go. So well, what has happened to uh, Samuel Bot? So, but then, Samuel Bot was going to London oh, okay. without the knowledge of uh, Mr. Datsin. Okay. So they, they stopped him at the, the airport, you know. And when they brought Sammy back, Sammy said he won't play the band again. So Stan should lead the band and find a trumpeter. So Stan came to see me too, you know. But then I, I was a lead trumpeter at the farmer's band, you know. So the following day, I was home about 8 o'clock. I saw the van come, so let me go and try if I can't, you know. When I went to Uhuru, Ban, uh, Uhuru House, these people were upset and waiting for me. I was so nervous. <laughs> I, I, I was so nervous. I said, wow, am I, am I going to disagree myself or what? You know, Because these people, the, the band that they were playing that time, they, oh man. Luckily, their street team, we've been, we were playing their street team in Farmer's Band, so I know the street team. Uh -huh. and then, when we play the, we finish the street team. Can you rem do you remember the... the I, I remember everything. Can you give us a uh, melo uh, melody line? Uh, Shabbat, Bababab, Badabobe, Dobe, Bababobodon. Ba, ba, string, string of pearls, that's the title. Okay. Da, 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 ba, da, ba, ba. It's that criminal, uh, 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 you arrangement. I see. Yes. That was the sick team. Okay. After playing the sick team, I saw everybody start looking each other. And then some brought some highlights, you know, and that was it. And then after we finished the uh, rehearsal, Samuel Bo came from the room and invited me to his room. He said, man, 
I've done well, you know. So he did some uh, uh, breakfast for me to, you know. I mean, it was, uh, you know, and, 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 and that was my going to Hulben, you know. I see. Yeah. So that. did you formally resign from the farmer's band or you didn't go back? I didn't go back. <laughs> so my first gig with the whole band was at Tipto, one Thursday night. And so they gave me some yoga coat, so I have to roll the, the <laughs> sleeves, you know. <laughs> and then right in front of us, my manager from uh, uh, farmer's band, he came to take a seat there. He wanted to see if it's true that <laughs> I'm leaving the band, you know. And so he sat down there, we play, you know, after we break, he called me. See, buy a drink. I said, oh, I don't want to drink, you know. I said, so are you leaving the band? I said, yes, I'm leaving the band. He didn't say anything again. Uh, then we went back to the stage and then he left. I didn't, I didn't go back to, even my, my money, I didn't even go back to get my money. I was, I was happy with the whole band. You know, what made whole band such a phenomenon? Dedicated, dedicated musicians. They love what they were doing in that band. Everybody loves the band, the music they play. You know, I mean, discipline. You know, I mean, whole band. If you hear that somebody has left the whole band, it's not going back to join any other group, but traveling. And it was a whole band that I started. I said, oh, everybody is traveling in the whole band. I, I don't even have a mind when I was playing Farmer's Band that one day I've traveled to any part of the world, you know. But when I went to the band, I met uh, late Mark Tonto. You know, he was, he, was my, he was playing second to me. So I was lead and he was playing second. And Dazi was the third trumpeter. And I met some I mean, some nice musicians, you know, so that, and, and then Remo Ben, you, you remember Remo yes, Ben? Yes, Remo Ben was, yes. was a drummer. And, and Remo Ben, I used to play Chikata's band, Shabu Shabu with Robin, long time ago, you know. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and so, when I went to the band there, I, I mean, I felt at, at home, you know, because all the guys, everybody, you, we wake up in the morning, and you hear everybody's room, everybody's rehearsing, practicing before we go group to every, and so you see the seriousness of that group. You, you know. think the management style? The management style, yeah. Because Mr. Dustin was the, the, the managing the Huru band. Yes. You know. And it, it, it was in fact when I went to Huru, they took me to uh Krobodu's house. So Krobo, everybody knew since uh Samuel Bot is leaving the band the band is, will be no more. So, and when we went to Krobo House, Krobo said, Hey, Ubebo. <laughs> I said, yeah. He put his hand in and gave me one blue, uh, 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 that, that was uh, pounds or about five pounds or something like that. He gave me, he gave it to me just like that. You know? So I was, I was so, uh, uh, I mean, you know, so that, that band is a dedicated band. I mean, they travel. I wasn't with them when they were traveling with uh, the president, Kwame Nkrumah. They, they went to Russia, Switzerland, and some other places, you know. And so, when I started playing, uh, this guy came from the uh, United States, uh, Chubby Checker, mm -hmm. for the band to, uh, you know, we to back him, you know. And the first night was something else, you know. We messed up. We messed up big time. Why? Because he brought a whole lot of uh, charts, you know, about 48 pieces of, I mean, yeah. and, and so before you finish learning this, then when they brought it, yeah, you forget this one, <laughs> you know. And, and, and I wasn't a sight reader. We have sight readers, in, you know, I wasn't a sight reader. Okay. It would take me some time to, you know, go okay. to, you know. And so, after that night, the guy said they should fly musicians from uh, uh, London or America for two. You know, Stan said no. Early in the morning, we selected few charts that you know, and then the the next 
gig was at Orion. It was something else. Uh, 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 check us stood up and said, is that the same band I played last night? We were, we were playing because we, we, we were ashamed for what happened, the, the, you know. Mm -hmm. So I think because of that, somebody went and uh, uh, cut the light off so that it might be like, uh, <laughs> but we, 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 mess, we mess up big time, mm -hmm. you know. So Orion, we went to Kumasi and then we went to Nigeria. You know, with, him. with him, you know. I mean, it was, it was like, you know, uh, oh, we had a nice time with, with Chubby Checker, you know. Well, I was in Uhuru when we went to London, you know, uh, spent some time in London, and we came and it looks like the gun, bad band is started going down, 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 down. Why? Then, you know, most of the guys left the band. Okay. You know. Some left in London, you know, they didn't oh, come back oh, first. Oh. Uh, when it came, some people to left to broadcasting, you know, you know. Mm. 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 Uhuru band uh, doesn't give you a house. Oh yes, he had a. Was that the only place, only band which has a house at the that, time? At the time, that's oh, it's only Uhuru band. So you know? it, it was oh, something. Oh, it was something, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I mean, Ruben got a whole lot of respect from from the uh, the public, you know. Mm. Yes, but well, we have our own house. We have in the house. People always like to come around the whole house, you know. Uh, I mean, it's, it, it was a nice place, you know. Uh, in fact, recently I went through the place there and I saw the house, and the house is like a trash. Yes, they're not taking care. Mm. But I heard that the house was for a nimado. Oh, okay. And then the, uh, Mr. Blasin rented that place for uh -huh, us. Uh -huh. So, you know, I don't know what they're doing. I mean, people, there are people still there, but, you know, nothing is, the whole house is deteriorating, you know. Yeah. So well, the musicians you played with during that era, uh -huh. who still stands out in your mind? Uh, Stan Planch. Why? Be I mean, because he was an able band leader. Able band leader. Who, 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 what, who, who would you call a band leader? Why do you think he's able? Because I uh, mean, if one of these young, the young musician asks you, and yeah, be, because he, he taught me well. I didn't know how to read well when I, I left Farmers Band, but Stan, he taught me how to read. You know, I became a sight reader. You know, mm -hmm. and now now I can't I can't I, I can't read like I used to. You know. Because I don't do it, you know. Yeah. Uh, and he, and he, and he is a very humble band leader, you know. Uh, if I would say, uh, he took the heels of uh, uh, Samuel Bot, who is a fantastic band. Leader. I didn't play under Samuel Bot, but mm -hmm. I, I played under uh, Stan Planch, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, uh, I mean, oh, a whole lot of musicians, you know, that uh, I'm on Cote. Amon Koti, Amon Koti, uh, we went uh, Amon Koti and uh, uh, Israel Ano, who used to be the drummer for um, Yiti Mensa, uh, 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 covered it before this uh, stupid cat going, you know. Yeah, Amon Koti, yeah, Israel Ano and Amon Koti and myself, we went to form a both group at Portland, Oregon, Obuadi, Obuadi took them from Ghana and then he brought me from London. I was but then in London. So book and then we went to form. But I, when I met my wife I left Oregon and went to uh LA. Okay. Yeah. Now you played with um uh Mark Tonto. Oh yes. Uh, uh, no, uh, no that guy I don't know it, it looks like we are brothers. We, I mean, we, and, and, and some picture that we, we took, when you see the picture, you think somebody and his junior brother or, you know, twin, you know, I mean, we were, we were, we were, you know, like tired friends, you know, you know, we were tired friends till Mark uh, left and went to form Osibisa, you know, but when I left, I, I, I left uh, uh, um, 
Uhuru born 1973. I went to South Air. Uh-huh. Yeah, I went to South Air to uh, play with the uh, uh, expensive stars, you know. But then uh, Stanley Luko was the band leader, but he left to the States. Mm-hmm. And there was another guy, Sammy something something. And I think he had a, 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 a financial problem with the management. Mm-hmm. So they took him off the band leadership and gave it to me. Niato, Davidson, you know mm-hmm. Niato? No. From, I was singing with Joe Kelly. Okay. And he became the uh, entertainment manager of uh, the state hotel bands. You know? Okay. So he gave the band leader to me. Uh-huh. You know, and then, uh, you know. Was that the first time you became a band leader? That was, that was the first time I became a band leader. So it was tough. Mm-hmm. It was tough because... Uh, why? I, I, I mean, I had some block-headed guys who, excuse me to say, when, 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 when they tipsy or a little bit smoke, they, they behave like, you know, and, 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 and one is this guy, uh, Pani Bokma. <laughs> You know that guy? That's my first cousin. Is that your first cousin? Yeah. He's a bad boy. <laughs> Pani, he gave me yeah. a tough time. I, 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 I took that boy to Huruban. He played with him. He played with Huruban. Uh-huh. And then when I went to South Hill, I took him with me to South oh, He must have been a good musician. Oh, oh yeah, it's all right. He, he plays, but the, the moment he, he, he got that, you know, then he, he got crazy. You know, it became that one day we were playing when I call a song, we will, will be playing a, 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 a different key just to make me look bad, you know. And I, and I, I put my trumpet down and I, I chase him one day. Yeah. I mean, we were playing. It was, it, it was so, that, I mean, oh man, Pani, he did a whole lot to me, just want to degrade me that, oh, I'll be this one, is not a band he died in it. Yeah, and that oh. guy was saying that uh, the tenor player that uh, Gawari called him a uh, uh, Farmer Brown. Uh, uh-huh. uh, uh, what, what's his name? Oh, I've forgotten his name, you know. Uh, and so it, it happens that uh, the following day, they reported the matter to uh, the uh, hotel managers. Who, That's you chased him off the stage. Yes, and they, they, you know, so the hotel manager, the manager just called me, I explained it. They said, fire him. Fire pan in street. I fire pan in the same time, you know. So this was after you have played with Ghana by the. Oh yes, the after we time. played with Ghana by, yes, you know. I'd like you to talk about that. Your experience with Ghana by. Oh yeah, that that was that was yeah. You see, because we used to back Ghana by when I was in Uhuru Band. I see. So, t- so take us from there. So uh, well, yeah, we used to back back him, you know. Where we back him to in Accra here, and then we went to South Af- uh, East Africa. That East Africa thing, yeah. what happened? It, it, it was a, 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 a that was a, a Faisal's a gig, you yes, know. Uh, yeah, so Faisal took us to, we were, we were opening uh, East African Airlines uh-huh. from Uganda, Kenya, uh, Tanzania, uh, uh, Asmara, uh, Ethiopia, you know, uh, you know. So, uh, but then to uh, Wilichita, uh-huh. Uh, was in town, so he has to join the uh, uh, the uh, entourage to uh, 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 to East Africa. It, it, it was a nice trip, you know. It was a nice trip, but then the you know Faisal and the uh, <laughs> guy. What happened? Uh, I, I, if I tell you, I know exactly what happened, uh, but I know there was a conflict, you know. Uh-huh. Yeah, you know. I, I, if I tell you anything that I know. The, the the root of all what the app I'll be lying. I don't know. Okay. You know? But, but we, we, I mean, we were at this place, uh, 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 Nairobi Airport. We were going to uh, Tanzania. And guy went and stood someplace like a statue. He wasn't moving with his heart and the dagger. And then a white man went there, he stood, look at this, he touched it, the, the thing wasn't moving. And all of a sudden, he said, hey, <laughs> the, 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 the guy fell, fell the, you know, <laughs> one of his uh, antics, you know, yeah. 
on the plane it was it was a storm you know i mean that it, it looks like the plane goes boom, boom. and then the, the plane itself was quiet the only voice you hear in the plane was sky worry Trevor, and care what my be a he was, he was so he was so so interesting you know we who understand what he was saying we started laughing and everybody was like oh so you know he said Trevor, what my you be there you know i mean we have we had a nice time we had a nice time you know but uh you know in fact but where, the, where you start from nairobi was a gig concert abrogated Oh yes, uh, at uh, at uh, at uh, uh, Mombasa. I see Mombasa. That was the second city of uh, Nairobi. Uh -huh. yeah. Uh, yeah, we were playing when something happened. They abrogated the gig. We were playing at a nice spot near the sea, you know. And all of a sudden, they told us to pack up. In fact, if I tell you what happened i know anything i thought that had something to do with that was in 66 no that was in 68 68 yes 68 i see what, what because that, i joined the Huru band 1965 i see yes but and it, it didn't have anything it was political or i think something like that and i and you know i mean we we were enjoying the the, the trip you know so when whatever they tell us that's what we do you know I, I don't actually was it because uh, until i asked stan stan would tell me what happened i see but it was not because kotoka who had taken over in ghana was praised and the people you were playing for were pro Nkrumah. oh for, and I mean, because of that they got offended n n who praised who praised kotoka because we, we we never had a song that praises any any politician at that time you know um guy did not say anything about kotoka which offended the sensibilities of the organization it might, it might be it might be but because of that the co yeah the because the thing came quietly that and then I, I don't know what they talk and then stan came to told us pack your instruments and that but that's what Faisal said uh, it might, guy yeah. praised kotoka and the organ the people you were playing for I, got offended I, I, you should have asked the old man this thing before he died you know to tell you that that because i don't think a uh, 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 guy will praise kotoka because he's an incroma person you know so i really if i tell you i know exactly what happened no i'll be lying and when you came back did 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 faisal pay you oh it, 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 you know the, the arrangement is between faisal and uh, Mr. Datsin. Oh, Mr. okay. You know, because we received salaries from Mr. Datsin. Oh, okay. So the payment, this thing, that, that's why I signed there. But okay. maybe he didn't pay a uh, guy well. That's why they started their few, few, uh, fuse, I mean, their quarrel and all those kind of things. Maybe. Because you know there was a quarrel between. I know. Af uh, even after you came to Ghana. After we came to Ghana, there was a quarrel between Faisal and. Uh, uh, and. Uh, and. Uh, and, uh, uh, and Guy. And Guy. You know, uh, yeah, for some time. But yeah. if I tell you, these two people, they are two good friends. Yes. It's two good friends. I remember. I came back from the uh, United States. That was the time uh, E.T. Mensah passed away. So I was living at Mark Tonto's house. And so we have to go to the uh, wakeeping at the state house. They, they laid uh, E.T. at the state house. So I was there when guy came there. And then uh, 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 Ado Brabetia. Good afternoon, how are you? Okay. Good. Mm -hmm. Good afternoon. I do. Kaseni or school do you I call Kaseni. 
Guys were like, you know, and, and even Stan was telling me that when Faisal died, guy sat down beside the dead body from the evening to the next morning. That shows, you know, uh, they love each other, but you see, sometimes, you know, all of the two guys are crazy guys, you know. Sometimes <laughs> Faisa too is, you know. Yeah. I remember when I was going, I was living, when I was playing a, a Star Hotel band, mm -hmm. Faisa bought me a flugel horn mm -hmm. to play with his group, the second group. They called them Basa Basa. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so after we finished 11 o'clock, I rushed to Napoleon to play with the band. And for some time, I didn't go. And Faisal walked right on to me on the stage and took the fuga home for me. <laughs> I started. God so good. The following week, my 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 children, their my, my wife's brother was coming from the uh, United States and he bought me a fuga home. So after we finished, I went to Napoleon. I was playing the fuga home. I went to and Faisal came. Who, who bought you this one? I said, hey, you think you, you are local and buy from God. <laughs> so when first I hear that I'm leaving to Spain, he said, Papa, you're leaving to Spain? You're going to suffer. That's what Father told me. You're going to suffer. You. Stay here and play. Band. You, you go. Fortunately for, unfortunately for me, I met Faisal in London. He was, he said, you see, I met him at Mark's place. Mm -hmm. Mark took me to a studio. We were recording. See, Professor was there. Say, eh, you see, you're suffering. <laughs> you know. So when I went to States and I came to Ghana, that was 1985. I went to Faisal at Napoleon. The moment he saw me, he said, hey, Papa. I said, Faisal, you forgot what you told me. I'm suffering. So they brought me home. He said, you bastard. <laughs> you bad. And so he, he started rolling this thing. I said, oh, Faisal, I'm out of here. He said, ah, if you don't smoke out for me, I'll smoke. You know. Mm -hmm. So it, it, it was painful. The very Faisal three weeks when I came down, last time I came, mm -hmm. it was, yeah. It's one person who has helped musicians in this country, yeah. Faisal Wahani. Yes. It's one of, I mean, one man show. Yes. You know, it helped a whole lot of musicians, you yes. know. Uh, I hope you see be alive and enjoy a little bit of what he spent on musicians, you know. Yeah. Yeah. You know. So, We're going to talk about your experience with Guy at the start. Uh, oh, at the start. I, oh, at the start. Yeah, 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 you know. From, yeah. who, from, from Uru. Uru. Yes, so when yes. he heard that I was in Star Hotel, you know, you know we have the same name. Yes. He's called Papu. Yeah. Yes. So he never called me Papu, he called me Samwa. Mm -hmm. You know, because that's our nickname that every Papu is Samwa. Mm -hmm. So we say, you know, so when I went to he came, you know, he started rehearsing with guests to, you know. And so we have a few shows which it, it, it was fantastic, you know. And songs that the teachers sometimes, you know, Abonsan Tower and all those kind you have, we have the Abonsan Tower. Yeah, I heard it. I heard it. Yes. I heard it yes. yeah. It's one of my, 
is one my, one of my uh, this team, musician who wrote that song and star uh, 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 and uh, uh, guy bought it from the guy yeah, but, uh, the drummer Ahuma uh -huh. Ahuma baby he's, st he's, he's in the states now. he bought he bought the song yeah uh, guy bought the song from Ahuma I see yeah but it's not guys come by when he heard that title Abon uh -huh. yeah, he, he, he said he loved the song so he, he got the song he changed the arrangements you know okay yeah yeah you know. see. but we ha we had a nice time with him you know mm -hmm. I remember when we used to play back in Man who band that time, Glenn was a little boy. When you put him on the drum, then he first and he said, Tension, Tension, Then we wake up, little boy, you know. Yeah, yeah you know. I mean, so. So, how, how, did, how did you evaluate him, Glenn, at the time as a musician? Oh, oh, he became a very good musician. He became a very, very good, fantastic drummer, you know. But sometimes, you know. When craziness enters into your life, you know, <laughs> it brings you to... You know, but, he, he, I mean, he, he, the father tried to send him to a good music school in the States, you know. And so, you know, I, 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 I saw him when the father passed away at the, uh, the State House, you know. I saw him and I, I mean, I wasn't happy with his his appearance, you know, mm -hmm. that night there, you know, I mean, I mean, I mean, this great man who is your father, you know, you have to show some respect, you know. Uh, I didn't know he was sick until I heard that he passed away. I didn't know that he was sick. Mm -hmm. But he's, he's a good drummer and a, a good writer too. Yeah, I met the daughter in the States. He's, the daughter is in the, uh, in the U.S. Army. Yes, 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 yes. And the ex-wife, Della. Yes, yes, yes. I met, I met Della in California. I you see. Know. Yeah. So when he, he had one of my, he had my CD, he said, oh, I love the CD. He, sometimes he comes from, a, he lives in a, a Vegas, but he comes to early for, to visit to, you know, so when I went, I gave him one of the uh, CD. He said, oh, Papo, I love the CD, Della. But that was a great CD. Yeah, you know, it's I, a I, great CD, I, and I was I played it uh, to a friend recently. and said, "Why can I find it to buy?" I said, "They said you didn't do it commercially." No, I didn't do it commercially. He said, "Why?" You know, I, I I did this because I want to see, I want to try. I have never made it. I'm not a composer. You know, most of the songs on the on the CD are some old tunes. Folk that, tunes. The folk tunes that I tend them to, yeah. you know. And uh, and the response in in U.S. was great, you know, because I saw most of the, uh, but the rest, I, da I dash it out to friends when they hear, yeah. I will take it, you know, take it, you know. But right now, I'm, I'm, I want to go back and re-record it. Yeah, and, well, it's good. I'm sure yeah. if you find... Yeah musicians together to exactly. promote this city yes. because because you know uh, in fact when I, I use drum machine I say but I want to put a rare live drums uh -huh. behind it uh -huh. yeah uh -huh. and then uh, you know I, I, I put it on the market oh, okay. but you see you know we have to find it the many many ah yes yes, 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 to yes, do yes it. so yes. I'm, I'm still on it you know okay yeah I'm still on it okay yeah. uh, now what do you think of uh, Musicians like Eddie Kwanza. You played with? Did you play with Eddie Kwanza? I played with Eddie when he came back here last two years. Oh, I see. Yeah, but I didn't play when he was in Ghana here. I see. No, I played when he came last year. And we played at the uh, uh, Plus Two Three Three. Oh, okay. A yes. Jam session. No, he, we we had to rehearse some of his numbers. I see. Yeah, with. Uh, uh, Bessa, Simon, uh -huh, and uh -huh, uh -huh. some other uh, young, uh -huh, young uh -huh. musicians, you know. So we, we performed at the, uh, the 233. Okay, know. what was the response like? Uh, it wasn't like Osibisa, you know. Osibisa was big, you yes. know. Uh, the concern, uh, because it was a very short period, the advertisement wasn't that much. So uh -huh. we, we didn't we get caught, but it wasn't like. Okay, but the people, they... they oh, they, they enjoyed it. Okay. They enjoy, you know, I mean, he has some highlights that he has, you know. Uh, but, you see, 
uh, Ghana has changed a whole lot in music, you know, and uh, Eddie, Eddie has he's been gone for a long time, long time. Mm -hmm. So he doesn't know the feelings of Ghanaians about. He thought maybe the same thing that we do in Hindi. So he wanted to do the same thing, but you know, it, it wasn't that. You know, you know, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. How 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 has Ghana changed musically? Uh, let me see. I'll say after the seventies to eighties, the music in Ghana deteriorated. You know that people even don't want to hear her life. Why? What what accounted for that? Yeah, because of the import of foreign music okay you know like this rap and this thing that has cut i mean mm. he life and you know i mean it, 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 when you play her like people don't want to they want to hear that hip-hop hip life or whatever they call it you know yeah I, 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 people enjoy the hip-hop music i'm not condemning it mm -hmm. you know i like but like i was telling you right now the, the Ghanaian music don't have an identity, you know. I mean, you call a Ghanaian music uh, musician now, either I come and sing hip hop or a reggae for you, mm -hmm. you know. But it looks like recently the high life is coming up a little bit, you know. I mean, people like uh, 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 this boy, uh, Besasimo. Mm -hmm. If you hear the band when they play her life, mm -hmm. she's a, a refined her life. Mm -hmm. but, but a person like Kwame Ebua, mm -hmm. the keyboard player, yes. is another. Uh, oh, that guy, it, 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 some arrangements he did with uh, Kanoa and all those kind of her life. I mean, you see that he's coming up with uh, a big crazy and uh, all this kind of um, bully, you know. The, the, the her life is, is, is coming up now, you know. But we need an identity. Our identity is the high life. It, it, it is the name. The music, the, 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 the genre itself, even the music itself. The music itself. But then, you see her life on a reggae. You know, with a reggae background. Yes. You see her life on, 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 on uh, 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 this uh, Belize music. Is, is that uh, bad? It's bad. How would you like to see her life? Yeah. I, I like to see her life, you know, like a little bit of jazz flavor. You, you remember uh, 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 this guy, uh, 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 George Lee? Yeah, he's in South Africa now. No, he died. He died. He died about, uh, about almost about four years now. I see. Yeah. When, when they brought messengers uh -huh. from Nigeria, when they play her life, you know, you see the highlight there with the under jazz, you know, and you know, jazz is high life, mm. you know. That was what Ganaba started doing. Exactly, you know, and, but George Lee put it on a, a different uh, 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 height, you know. I see. I wish you can, you, you know messengers, man. Yeah, I heard, I heard of the messengers. You heard of I, them? I don't really know their music deep. Oh, no, they didn't do too much recording. You do some uh -huh. one, two recording. Okay. But when you see them live, uh -huh. playing, you love it. They went, with, they went to Germany with it. Pa Solomon, uh, 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 Kwaku Morty. You remember Kwaku Morty? The, the Conga the player. The Conga player, you yeah. know. Uh, 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 George Lee Boche is in, 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 uh, is, is a bad guitarist. Nisai? Uh, no, not Nisai. I see. A debutry. He oh, okay. lives in uh, New York now. Okay. He was playing with uh, 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 the Dequansa. I see. You know, I see. Yeah. But you know Nisai too. Oh Nisai. Oh Nisai. I, I, I play with them anytime they come. They come to uh, LA. Sometimes they travel from San Francisco to LA, uh, and uh, they don't have horns. So I just I just jump into this and then we play. He said it's another bad guitarist. Yes. Yes. Yeah. yeah. You know, the Hijola sounds, uh -huh, you know, uh -huh. yes, yeah. You know, so this is where I say, if these people were to be alive today 
and they play all these things like I mean, we get an identity. But you play, when you play her life and you play it in a reggae beat, um, what, what you want me to call it? You want <laughs> to call it a high life, an yeah. identity for high life. Yeah. Yeah. You you can't yeah. call it an identity for high life. Mm -hmm. yeah. You play a uh, uh, high life and play a uh, 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 suku, a uh, suku rhythm behind it. <laughs> you call it, the, you know. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is it. I, I don't know, but this is how I see it. Okay. In your time, you played different types of music. You played mm -hmm. high life, you played cha-cha-cha, you played play world, you played play Latin, world. you know, yeah. You think that contributed to making you a better musician than the I musician think so. now? I think so. Mm -hmm. I, I think so. That time. Mm -hmm. Bands that, that time in the 60s, late 50s, 60s, bands who were playing all play all type of music. So anybody who travels from any part of the world and you come here, you get the taste of your own music, like cha cha French people enjoy cha cha cha, uh, Latin, uh, Cubans, you know, uh, uh, the, the Englishman who like to dance quick step or waltz, uh, uh, Togo, you, you, you see this, this uh, 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 Latin numbers and all. You know, I mean, we play all type of music, so people enjoy uh, 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 that time, this, the fifties and the sixties and a little bit of the seventies. You think because of that, musicians at that time are better musicians than the musicians. Oh, uh, I can't say that because I don't want to put any musician down. You know, but. But to but, me, but, our time, we serious. Yeah. We serious learning. Uh -huh. You know, you can't just wake up and put a microphone on your mouth and say, tell people that you are a musician. A musician, they will see that you you know how to read music, you know how to compose, write. You know, I mean, everything in perspective. You know, you, you know, you put them in where they're supposed to be. You know, but right now. Everybody is, is, is uh, one thing that I've, I've, I've noticed in, at this uh, present time is uh, uh, the young musician coming, they, they, they are learning, they, I mean like guitar, keyboard, bass, drums, but they are lacking, people, people can learn the wind instruments. Why? I don't know. Very few people, very few guys. You see the trombonist I was playing with, uh, the, he said he was playing brass band in, 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 uh, in someone. And he, he, he fell in love with jazz, you know. And I mean, he's, he's a bad trombone player, man. You know, so we have, we have a whole lot of uh, rhythm, guitar, or whatever you tell me, keyboard. They are s superb. Superb, but when it comes to the wind instrument, very few. You think they are? It's a difficult. They are difficult instruments to master. I, I think so. I think so. Like the trumpet, you know, <laughs> it takes time. Uh -huh. It takes time. I, uh, there's a, a girl, a girl trumpeter. Okay. Oh, he is. She is something else. She plays a two, three, three. Sometimes, yes, you know, uh, she is something else. Mm. You know. When I first heard this girl playing, I said, wow, a Ghanaian girl? I mean, I, recently I heard that he had a baby. Oh, I see. So uh, he, he's relaxing home a little bit. He, he, they had a, he had a, a, a scholarship with uh, uh, Victor, Victor Day. Okay, the to, keyboard. To, yeah. to the States. I see. Yeah, they, they, you know, I heard that, they, you know, they went to the States and... Uh, but Victor, when after the, uh, this thing, he came through California. So he came to my house and coincidentally, he met one of my wife's best friends who is a jazz singer. So it, it, was, it was a nice jam session in my house that day. Yes, yes. So yeah. how was your life as a musician abroad? When you left Ghana, what uh, happened? You, you know, uh, uh, I left Ghana, uh, I think, 76, you know, to go to Spain. Because you were bored with Ghana, you felt uh, you needed to chase uh, new horizons. It's, it's, it's on a different note. You know, when I was in the Star Hotel, one of my friends who has been a musician, 
long time since a successful from player from Kumasi. So the name is Honey Gift. So he came to Ghana for me to to travel with a CK man to New York to play. Uh, with, he was organizing some, you know. And so when I look at my band, I say. I don't want to leave this band because the band was, the star with the band was coming up, you know. And so, somebody told this guy that uh, we have a contract with the state hotel. I said, no, we don't have a contract. So, it, he decided he wanted to take my star hotel band instead of me going with CK Man. He would take the whole star hotel band. In fact, people who, well, but then, Obo uh, came to Ghana on a uh, voluntary deportation. Obuadi. Obuadi, yes. Obuadi and the wife. Mm -hmm. They deport them voluntarily. So they came. So Obo was living with me in South there. Mm -hmm. So when I, when this chance came, I put Obo and the wife all in mm -hmm. that they should go, so that they go back to the you know and uh, some other guys you know in the South there band. So could you believe? I went to get a visa for everybody. I didn't give it, get a visa. <laughs> you laugh again. I didn't get a visa. Me, the band leader, I didn't get a visa. Why? Because I've attempted once and they refused me. Mm -hmm. I, I took the same passport. Mm -hmm. So they didn't give me a visa. So the band... Uh, left me and they went to uh, New York. I see. Yes. So I was left there. I said, what? What? Sometimes I'll sit down and I'll start to cry. I said, man, I have tried to go to America and I've got a chance that I could have even gone with CK man. That's what I say. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, but you see, the almighty God is a wonderful God. You know, all this time, he knows what he's doing. He didn't want me to travel with this group. So I, I had a cousin, my, 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 my half-brother's half-brother, you know, goes to uh, Spain with guys. So when he came, he was my friend. I didn't even know my, that's my, my brother's half-brother, you know, cousin or something like that. So I, I went and said, Teco. Come here, Spain. Say, oh, if you get your ticket, I'll take you. So he said, go and bring your passport. We were sitting down in Teco's room. Within one hour, I had a visa. I said, oh, this thing is a reality, you know. It's going to happen. Now, I have to hustle money to buy a ticket. Mm -hmm. So when I jump from here, I jumped from here. I took my uh, uh, after the band went to. Uh, I went and took my uh, 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 this thing, uh, my uh, this thing from the south. Uh, they gave me some small money. Okay. Yeah. So I find some uh, boutique. Then I, I left to Spain. You know, I just I, I don't know what I I was going to. I I don't know where I was going. I just went to Spain because I want to get out from this country, mm -hmm. you know. And everybody said, oh, you're the band leader, they left you, you know. I mean, <laughs> I, I, and I said, wow. Mm -hmm. So when I went to Spain to, Spain to, there's no job there, you know. You didn't carry your flugel home? I carry my flugel home with me. I carry everything with me. So there's a friend guy who is a pianist. When he get a gig, then he call me. Oh, and I play and you give me something small for my pocket. I was working with the farm, so go and pluck tomatoes and all those kind of things. So I was I was in Spain when uh, this Ghanaian group, uh, Kohana. Yes, yes. yes they, they, they're from Switzerland. Mm -hmm. They were passing through Spain to Morocco. Mm -hmm. And one of the guy's girlfriend is was living in Spain. Mm -hmm. So they came to look for the girl. So when they, they, when you from my room 
uh, when you're from the guest room, you come into my room. Mm -hmm. We have a pension, a uh, 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 apartment that we live in. Mm -hmm. And so when they came, instead of knocking the guest room, they came and knocked at my door. Mm -hmm. So when I came out, I said, Papo, what are you doing here? Mm -hmm. I said, oh, these guys. I said, wow. But then they have a trumpeter who has left the band. Mm -hmm. So they told me that, oh, Ben, we're going to Casablanca. When we pass in, we would like to take you. You, know. you see, when they were passing from Casablanca, I got a job at some place and I wasn't there, so they came to pass. Luckily, they left their telephone number mm -hmm. for somebody to give it to me, mm -hmm. that I should call them. And when I came, the guy gave me the cell phone number. I called and he said, oh, we are coming to uh, Italy the, uh, next week. So meet us at Florence. Now, I'm in Spain for almost two years. They only gave me three months to stay in Spain. For almost three years. So I, I got to have an exit visa to get out. It was tough. So there's a guy. It's a, it's a Ghanaian, called, the name is Ashifi, Eugene Ashifi. He teaches, he teaches English and uh, uh, Spanish in the uh, uh, University of Spain. So I went and saw him, I said, he said, no, tomorrow morning come, let's go to the immigration. I said, oh, yeah. mm -hmm. these people, they'll send me back over. Mm -hmm. When we went to the immigration, he, told, he spoke in the uh, Spanish, he said, this guy is a seaman, you know, he wants he want just four or five days to do some shopping here. So boom, they hid it in my passport. <laughs> that was my savior. So the next morning, I took a plane straight to uh, Rome and took train to uh, uh, Florence. And then the guys met me at uh, the uh, train station. So that night, they were playing. So when without rehearsal, when you know, I was playing what I know, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So they, after we stayed, we stayed in, in Italy for two weeks. Yeah. They got me a one-year visa to go to Switzerland. So that you know. Uh, when so you became part of that band. I became part of the band. Okay. Yeah, Kohana. Okay. Yeah, I became okay. part of the band. So okay. they took me to Switzerland. Okay. And then uh, we played, played, you know. About about some about two months for my visa to expire, and then uh, you know I would play, but you see because they brought me from they didn't give me anything that is so I say, mm -hmm. man try and increase my money a little bit for me, so I, they were offended. They didn't tell me anything. They didn't stay now here. We don't want the trumpeter in the band again. You what? know, bless me about one month for my visa to expire. But then, Matunto has sent me 100 pounds. He said, any time you come and show it in the, uh, the what I come to London, you know. So, I was sitting there, I said, I said, look me, let me go to the immigration. Let, let them take me back home, you know. So when I was going, I was thinking, what to, I said, can I go back home or whatever? When I get to the place there, I thought that I have to tell them I'm going to London to do shopping because the group was a very popular group in Switzerland. Mm -hmm. And I said, I'm playing with this group. So they gave me six months. And I came up, packed my everything. But then this group, they fled me to Genev, Genevieve. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're going to play there. So they let me at uh, uh, Zurich. You know, I took him straight to London. When I went there, they said, so I'm, I'm coming for shopping one weekend. And, yeah, they gave me three months. So I'm supposed to live with Mark, but then Mark has uh, some other visitors in the house, so I have to hang around some other guys till I got my place, you know. And then uh, Obo heard that I'm in London. So he did my he did a working permit for me to come to uh, the states. I stayed for London for three years. 
Mm. Uh, uh, you were in I was, playing I, I was play, music. I was playing uh, 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 the latter part about two and a half years, oh, about a year and a half, I started playing seriously with a group called uh, Kabbalah. I see. What uh, kind of music was it? They play that Osibisa type of music. Uh, that is a Ghanaian. Uh, I see. Uh, it's a trombone uh, player. Uh, uh, Sampani. But you weren't as lucky as Osibisa. Oh, uh, no. Uh, they, they, that, but then Osibisa was going down. You know. I so see. this band is like, you know, we, we play at universities and colleges and, you know, so they mm -hmm. started, you know. Uh, but, but they didn't record? Uh, they, they record, but I didn't record with them. I now, after I left the band, uh, Mark went and brought Osetu to them, you know. Uh -huh, yes, yeah, uh -huh. so Osetu to recorded with them. I didn't record okay. with them. So, uh, my last gig with them was at the Roundhouse, okay. you know. And, uh, and the only guy who knew that the following day I'm flying to the United States was the bass player, who was a you know. Oh, I know a Yes, uh, a uh -huh. I took I, I took Asafwaje to, to that group. Mm -hmm. you know, so I said, oh, you brought me into the group and you want to leave me? I said, Asafwaji, man, this is my chance. I want to go to the States. I don't want to live in London. I want to go. So I got this. So my band leader didn't know nothing. When I left, I think Asafwaji told them. So when I got to the United States, I called my band and said, man, I don't know how to tell you. He said, oh, I understand. Don't worry. You know. So each time I'm coming to Ghana, I pass through London, spend some time with the band leader, you know. And so one day I was, uh, I was passing through to the United States and the band leader told me, oh, we've got a gig, we're opening for at Blakey. Okay. At Blakey at uh, Ronnie Scott, okay. you know. And Ronnie Scott is a bad uh, jazz club, you know. Mm -hmm. So I stayed three weeks there, but played with, with, with the band, we open for uh, uh, Blakey, you know. I mean, I, I live in the United States. I, I met at Blakey in London, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, I have some pictures with him, you know. I have to look for them one day. I went okay. Yeah, so we open for them for w one week, you know, and then I left. So every time when I'm coming, I go, it's, it's right now here, even. You know, he has a house at Dummy here. I see. Yeah, uh, my, my company, mm. yeah. So, this is my experience in, 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 this is how I started the music, yes. you know, the hard way, you know, uh, but I... It's been an interesting thing. Yeah. So, what, what do you see for, for the future? What do you... Uh, mm, and what would you like to be remembered for? Oh, uh, that, that's, they, they leave a trumpeter who is called Pakbo and that's it. <laughs> you know, if, if... Why well, you play some bad uh, trumpet? Yeah, you know, I mean... Uh, uh, people who know, you see, I'm it's good you recorded this album. Yes, because at yes, least. yes. Uh, and uh, the guy who pushed me to record this album was Amboli. I yeah. see. Yeah, when uh, when Amboli came to uh, 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 from New York and he came to say, "Papa, you got to get that." Get, get get some album, you know. Yeah, you know, I met you at Max Place and you gave me this. The CD oh, at Max Play. Yeah, that's where yes, we first met. That's where. At now that I remember, <laughs> you were sitting outside. And I came to meet you. I, yes. Yeah. I came, yes. I, I was living with Mark that time. I see. Yes. yes. And Mark said, well, I, "I work with Guy." Uh -huh. And uh -huh. so he went and said, "You gave me a CD." You also that, I don't. I don't look. And the thing is, I didn't have a CD player at the time. Uh -huh. So when I came home, I put the CD. I didn't play it for a long shall, shall we time. Shall we go outside? But when I played it, I said, wow, where is this guy? Where can I meet this guy? That's but, when I started uh, looking for you. Yeah. <laughs> because I was blown when I heard it. <laughs> I said, what? There are trumpeters. There are some Ghanaian musicians. <laughs> 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 yeah. 